<laughs> Michael Corey, time to hop aboard the positivity bus because the new day is here. I hope your positivity bus drives right into a bridge embankment. Take that back. The following is scheduled for one fall on the way to the ring, accompanied by Big E at a combined weight of 417 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods. The New Day! I look at these guys and I think two things. Boy, do they love unicorns and pancakes too much, but also they can main event any show on their own. And that's why we are oh so lucky to see them here tonight. <laughs> to see high flying exemplified and their opponents first from san diego california weighing in at 175 pounds ray mysterio ray mysterio has never ever been afraid of competition he's never going to back down he's the biggest little man in the history of wwe A man, an animal, who has done it all at WWE. And from Washington, D.C., weighing in at 290 pounds, the animal, Batista! Oh, the animal will punish yeah. with no remorse and no mercy. Batista's story is that of indescribable rage. He has this insatiable desire to inflict pain on his prey. Yeah, it is really frightening when you think about what Batista is truly capable of. He won the Royal in two different decades. He's a decorated champion, a Hollywood action movie star. And Batista doesn't care what anyone thinks. He's obsessed with what he wants, and what Batista wants is domination. Time to unleash the rage. Great 
athleticism. Coming down with a leg drop. And there's the cover. And he only stays down for a one count. Somehow still in this fight. Not down and out yet. Kobe Kingston looks stunned by that. Oh man, both 
feet crashing down. Can that keep Ray down? Into the cover. Oh. I thought he had it. You gotta be kidding me. Down to the wire. Who's going to give in first? Xavier Woods in with the tag. some of the highlights. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Los Angeles, California, Victoria. 
Something tells me that the WWE Universe won't be cheering this superstar once we see their true colors. What does that even mean? It's only a matter of time before this superstar goes after another favorite of the WWE Universe. That's when the cheering stops and my bragging starts. Such a talented competitor. I think we're about to see one of her best matches yet. Blair Davenport, the self-proclaimed scourge of the women's division. Yeah, a mix of gothic charisma and cold-hearted fury. And representing the Faces of Fear, from Wellington, New Zealand, Blair Davenport. Well, Blair Davenport has said that she's not here to impress anyone but herself. Well, she might not want to hear this then, but... She's been impressive thus far. Here's a woman who has plans to send a message to the women's locker room every time she steps into the ring. Yeah, hoping to strike fear in the hearts of the entire division, as she's done in the past. Has been a master of mind games already, and she's only getting started. And here's a superstar who's been touted to display all the attributes needed to be at the top of the women's division. I agree with that, Michael. And no matter what success she's had, I believe there's even more untapped potential in her. And some superstars could allow praise to go to their head, but not her. She keeps focus on the task at hand. But we have to turn our attention to Blair Davenport, who competed all over the world before finally setting her sights on WWE domination. She's not just here to take over the women's division. She wants to strike fear in the heart of anyone foolish enough to challenge her. According to Davenport, she has the wicked willingness to do whatever it takes to accomplish those goals. But in my opinion, all of this just makes her the scourge of the women's division. A running elbow drop. Davenport's plans for division domination clearly being challenged with that. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Stop in the arm. A standing moonsault. Oh, ho, ho, flattening the opposition. snapping her back to reality. This isn't a pose off. Here's what I want to see from Blair Davenport tonight. Ruthlessness. She needs to unleash her most sadistic attacks. That's how she'll get this match won. A no limits approach to offense could certainly pay off big for Davenport here. off the top rope and just driving the knees into the kidney. Over and over again. And the fall away slam. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. This maniac's out of control. And now she's looking to go top rope. Taking flight. What a splash. Looking for the victory. Two. And she fights it off. 
she have to do to put her away? I'm asking myself the same question. I have no idea. What a response from Davenport. Slips behind. Jordan suplex. Nine. Oh, kick connects. There's lining up to finish this off. I think the crowd knows what we're about to see. Oh, man, into the neck breaker. Oh, unbelievable. That's her opponent's move. Let's take another look at these ladies going toe to toe. Here is your winner, Blair Davenport. Quite the win for her here. She worked hard for this win, and now she gets to enjoy the payoff. Absolutely. You love to see someone's determination come to fruition like this. Canada's greatest export has arrived. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus just always super competitive. And all of her opponents leave the same way. Stratus five. Now, when you talk about who is the greatest competitor in the women's division's entire history, you got to mention Trish Stratus in the conversation. She is one of the most beloved competitors in WWE history. And from Baltimore, Maryland, the WWE Women's Champion, Stacey King. Anybody have a face towel? It's getting hot in here. Right. I'm proud of you, Saxton. Her perfect aim with those long legs make her a very difficult opponent. She's a dancing star. But a main streak a mile long. Mean streak almost as long as her legs. One of the most iconic superstars in the history of WWE, Trish Stratus, has been a big inspiration, if not the biggest inspiration for so many women in the locker room. Yeah, Cole, and for good reason. For years, Trish broke the mold for female superstars. That mantle as a trailblazer is something she wears just as proudly as she does her many other accolades in WWE. Well, she'll be looking to rack up another accolade here tonight, Corey. And standing across the ring from her is a legitimate legend in WWE. One of the craftiest superstars to ever step foot in the ring, Stacey Keeley. Talk about someone who never ceases to surprise. Stacey is as smart of a competitor as they come. Somehow, always finding ways to win. Well-placed kick. Well-scouted by Stress. Oh, straight forearm. Oh, she hit the corner hard. Oh, that backfired on her. Uh oh, jawbreaker! Call the dentist. Corey, it has to be a bit 
daunting taking on a legend like Trish Stratus one on one. No, you're not wrong, Cole, but while facing off against someone with the credentials of Trish Stratus can be overwhelming, you'll psych yourself out if you think about it too much. You have to focus on taking Trish at face value, not on all of her accolades. Fast press! Fast press! Fast press! She could pair her opponent right here. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. And she's thinking of recovering now. Still time to run away if she wants to. She's taking things to ringside, and Triss gets countered. Oh, jawbreaker! Get under the ropes. Top rope, putting it all on the line. From the top. Oh, she lands hard. Boom, what impact. And Stacy's craftiness not exactly doing the trick this time around. And that's the kind of offense that's made Stratus a trailblazer in this division. Ooh, sharp elbow. And Stacy escapes danger. thrown out of a few local. Oh, forget about pandering to the WWE Universe. That should keep her head in the game. Adding a level of insult with that kind of physicality. Spine buster. Could lead to a big time win. Driving their opponent down. Now, a good time to look at some of the highlights from that last matchup. Here is your winner, Trish Stratus. She did what she needed to do and came away with a strong victory. That's what happens when you put in the preparation and the training. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE United States Championship. The doctor is in the house. I can't wait for Cena to come out here and spit some of that hot fire. I like the attitude of John Cena. Reminds me of when I used to freestyle. Where, in Burke? Burke VA, baby. Now more ruthless and aggressive than ever before, we are finally seeing the real John Cena.
He's here to save the day. Not to be taken lightly. Better be careful, Saxton. You might be mistaken for a supervillain. They could call you Chrome Dome. What's up with that? Does this guy really think he's a superhero? Of course he does, Michael. But more importantly, the WWE Universe believes in him. And so do I. Introducing the challenger from West Newbury, Massachusetts, weighing in at 248 pounds, John Cena. And his opponent, weighing in at 215 pounds, he is the WWE United States Champion, The Hurricane. Five years of history behind that, the United States Championship. The United States Championship has a tremendous amount of history dating back Let to... Let me stop you, Cole. We know the history. Tonight, this match is about the future. The United States Champion isn't focused on how he won it. He's focused on keeping it. As much as I want to, I can't argue with that, Corey. Play stomp to the arm. Lining it up. And a right hand to the jaw. My goodness. Moved out of the way. Nobody home. Boom right the button. He skirts around it. A set out Matt Slam. into the corner. Caught him right in the jaw. Oh, what a shot. Boom. High risk here. Oh, what more we could see in this match. From the top. High risk here. Believe me when I say you cannot overstate the amount of pain that causes someone. Swinging oh, neck breaker. breaker. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Gets the shoulder up after one. Keeping a loss at bay for now. He's returning fire. Close so effective. Cena letting his opponent know who's in charge here. Unbelievable athleticism. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. Perhaps one of the most eccentric superstars in WWE. The Hurricane has racked up some impressive victories. What's the secret to that success, Corey? Don't let the funny costume fool you. The Hurricane is more than a capable competitor. No matter how hard you knock him down, he will always get back up. To win against him, you really have to wear him down and take away his speed. know what he thinks of it. Locked in! Way up there. Oh, flying forearm. That'll turn your lights out. Oh, man, meeting the barricade. Yeah. 
Run out of ringside and back to the mat. Now a pin for the championship. That's it. The champ stays the champ. These guys gave everyone their money's worth. Here's another look. Here is your winner, and still, WWE United States Champion, The Hurricane. No other way to put it, guys. That was kind of a butt kicking. Never a doubt. Barely a moment's suspense. This one was about as lopsided as they come. WWE Universe, let him talk to you. I think LA Knight may let his fists do the talking tonight. The following contest is an Extreme Rules match. Making his way to the ring from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, LA Knight. Calls himself the Megastone. Well, he won't be one of those in the fashion world, but L.A. Knight might be able to earn that moniker in the ring. Well, this superstar is about to feel the Latino heat as he faces Eddie Guerrero. Forget the rule book. Eddie knows how to break every rule in the library. Right, we are in for a treat tonight. Former ECW star who has had unmatched success in WCW. And his from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, the hardcore champion, Eddie Guerrero. The former WCW cruiserweight and United States champion, a man who's held the ECW television title. And above all, Eddie Guerrero doesn't care if he's liked. Eddie Guerrero always sporting that cocky look on his face, but to Guerrero's credit, he always backs it up inside the ring. He may be a cruiserweight, but he can take on anyone. Time for an Extreme Rules match where... What are they going to do here? How about a little? Oh, the gory special submission locked in. Tap out. Do it now. Lift. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. Sidewalk slam. Almost drove him through the ring. Oh, DDT. 
And he has free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. And he is daring his opponent to face him with the steel chair. He's turning the tables. I think the key to coming out on top in an extreme rules match has to be fighting without limits. This is no time for fair play or holding back. You have to use the circumstances at play to your advantage and without mercy. I think you're right, Corey. This is a time when playing nice really doesn't benefit y'all. Oh, what a knee. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Oh, back elbow. Kick to the midsection. Could be thinking about the gory special. Yes, that's exactly what they were thinking, and it is in. I think he's got it locked in good. I just don't know how to counter. Trying to find a way out. Elbow into an arm drag. Beautiful escape. And now thrown back into the ring. Ooh, man, what a hit. To the outside. This could get wild. He clearly has dangerous intentions in mind here, gentlemen. a perfectly placed target. <laughs> Held in a perilous position. He's got the chair set up. Oh, boy, this is not going to be good. Anything. Knight giving the WWE Universe the chance to really appreciate him. Eddie Guerrero, suplex number one, but we know what's to come. How about twice? And the trifecta. Here's a few clips from the last match for us. Here is your winner, Eddie Guerrero! They gotta be happy about this victory tonight. This match is why his name is mentioned when superstars get asked about dream matches. Just an unbelievable performance he had tonight, Corey.
Just look at that face. A man possessed. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Superior, Wisconsin. Weighing in at 330 pounds. Otis! I don't know that we have ever seen a super heavyweight like this. The circumference of Otis's neck is bigger than most people's waists. He truly is a walking tree trunk. And ever since Otis joined the Alpha Academy and became the number one guy, I'd have to say this is the best he's ever looked. Look at that face. Ugh, I'd rather not. Well, this is an extraordinary sight. Goosebump inducing. The awe-inspiring entrance of The Undertaker. Darkness has completely engulfed this entire building. Admit it, Byron, you're scared. A little bit. We are seeing a legend in the flesh. And his opponent from Death Valley, weighing in at 309 pounds, The Undertaker. Sinners beware, your time has come. Enter the Reaper. You could say daring to confront the Phenom is like digging your own grave. The Undertaker will drag you through the depths of despair. When you see The Undertaker, you're witnessing one of the most amazing spectacles in sports entertainment history. Without question, Michael, a merciless force of destruction. When The Undertaker is around, no one is safe. Defined dominance at WrestleMania year after year. One tombstone after the next. Fallen legends, fallen champions. The quest for everlasting life in WWE goes through the dead man, if you dare. Think of the incredible resume of The Undertaker. Won the Royal Rumble, conquered Hell in a Cell, and won 21 consecutive WrestleMania matches. Arguably the most incredible competitor in WWE history, and the decades of destruction continue. the Reaper annihilates your body and your soul. Impossible to prepare for, unfeasible to predict. Every step the Phenom takes, you're one step closer to your demise. It is a grave mistake to assume that you will survive. The ever intimidating aura of The Undertaker looming large around the arena. Larger than life presence is The Undertaker. So much so that you can forget how strong and how fast he is. This is a man who demands as much of his opponents as he does of himself. And he's not above flattening anyone who doesn't pass muster. We may well see him make someone famous as the old saying goes. And he's squaring off against Otis, who I hear is up for summa cum laude, Saxton. That's not a very big feat considering the whole of the Alpha Academy, Corey. Maybe not known for his academic achievements, we all know that it is Otis's physical abilities that put him at the top of the class. Down to Otis, and a double axe handle smash. And the cover for the win! This is it! A defiant kick out after one. You expect these pins to last much longer at this stage in the match. With the Larian. He's locked up. DDT. I'm 
Undertaker, of course, known for his inhuman agility despite being a big man. Corey, how exactly do you measure up to someone like that? A competitor who is as quick as they are. Launch out to the outside. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. And the resolve of Otis might be wavering, but Otis can't allow this to hinder him. What's gonna happen here? Nice breaker. Undertaker. It's going for the Dragon Sleeper. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on an opponent. It's a roundabout. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Caught in a bad position here. He's taking some good hits. Jarring impact. Ever see a tree trunk play to the crowd? Well, you have now. He's channeling the crowd's energy. He went right into that turnbuckle. Uh-oh. Face first. And the attack from Otis avoided. Oh, clubbing blow to the back. Big boy. Oh, nice shot. I uh oh, I shot her to think what this is all about. I assure you, this is not on my run sheet. Uh-oh. Oh, impressive counter. Using the rope to their advantage. Punishing their opponent. The Undertaker scoops them up. Tombstone pile driver. What devastation from The Undertaker. Stomping.
I've got to say, the amount of punishment we've seen in the match would have already ended most superstars. The level of resilience we're seeing is off the charts. Another quick look at some of the highlights. Here is your winner, the What a win for him here. He really displayed his prowess in victory. The legend of The Undertaker grows with this emphatic victory by the Phenom. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. The WWE Universe is finally giving Sheamus his just due. Has won nearly every major title, has earned every major accolade, but he still loves to fight. The look in his eyes says Sheamus is ready for another five-star brawl. You think this guy cares about ratings? The crowd is 
singing for Seth freaking Rollins. The best dressed man in WWE and a pretty darn good conductor. And his too. opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth freaking Rollins. He's held the Intercontinental, the US, the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. And the WWE Universe serenading Rollins with his battle hymn. Time for Seth freaking Rollins to conduct another masterpiece. While he can be rash and temperamental at times, the fire of the drive set Rollins in the ring is undeniable. You can't deny that he's a very passionate competitor. Penny predicament, shoulders down. Two count. And the shoulders up in time. At this point in the match, I'm surprised the ref hit two. such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. It's got to be hard taking on an opponent like Seth freaking Rollins, Corey. Always plotting, always scheming. How about always bending the rules to their limit? But I will concede, as talented a superstar as Rollins is, we've seen those tactics backfire on him. If you can, bide your time and wait for a lapse in Rollins' judgment. But you got to act fast. Look at this, just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Okay, consider that a harsh lesson. Getting him into the corner. Oh, elbow caught him right on the bridge of the nose. Got him where he wants him. Up and down. Looked like he may have been the one to receive some lumps there. Furious offense from takeoff. Whoa, whoa, landing. Big time risk pays off. The daredevil in you comes out when you take risks like that. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Oh, into an inverted DDT. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. A messianic display of offense from Rollins. Setting up neck breaker position. Oh, forearm to the back. Avoiding contact. And they just busted out an impactful maneuver. Shane is looking for a fight no matter how it comes his way. A jumping knee strike. Lights out. taking charge in a big way. Look, Sheamus loves a fight, but he can't be liking this. Ooh. Now hooking him up. Face first, driven down. He's struggling. Look at this! Oh, no! Brass decision-making there proved to be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. Getting dangerously close to our desk. That's it. I'm out of here. Here comes that rolling fireman's carry. Nice rolling fireman's carry. Look at that uppercut. He had it scouted. And he gets set back into the ring. High risk plans from Rollins. No kick out of two. Somehow, some way, he is 
still in this. Rollins lining it up. Stop. And look at this. The blood seeping down Sheamus' face. The cover. managed to kick out. I don't think he's going to take two cuts. What about Pyro? A visionary with a frog splash. A fiery move by Rollins. Look at him. Seth Rollins wins. Seth Rollins wins. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. Here is your winner, Seth. For Seth Rollins. That was an unfair match from the start. The WWE Universe was constantly distracting Sheamus. Oh my gosh, where's the violin? The Viper has arrived. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from St. Louis, Missouri. Weighing in at 245 pounds, Randy Orton. The Viper's resume is just growing by the day. Capturing titles and main events at an incredible rate. He's held the Intercontinental title, the tag team titles, and he's held the WWE Championship on multiple occasions. Formerly a legend killer, he is quickly approaching legend status as we speak. Methodical, dangerous, Randy Orton has earned his spot at the top of WWE. He has beaten nearly every big name, slain nearly every legend. You gotta wonder, what's next for the Viper? Championship, Saxton, and plenty of them. Confidence and arrogance on display. Here is the heartbreak. And his opponent from San Antonio, Texas, weighing in at 227 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Already a Hall of Famer, perhaps the greatest in ring performer in history. After missing nearly four years with a severe back injury, some doubted we would ever see Michaels in WWE again. Yeah, here's the thing, Corey. After returning, some say Shawn Michaels is better now than he's ever been. Certainly a hard point to argue. One of the greatest of all time, Mr. WrestleMania.
Shawn Michaels out here and he's enraged. Claims made by his opponent that HBK is washed up and getting by on past triumph has sent Michaels over the edge. Could be a big mistake to underestimate the showstopper. We haven't seen the heartbreak kid this emotional in a long time. Randy Orton has over 15 years of experience in WWE. And he had to slow down a step. Yeah, if anything, the Vipers become even more proficient with that devastating RKO. Oh, launching himself from the ropes. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Yeah. Oh, man. Suplex. Yeah. Nice drop kick. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. This could do it. He breaks the ref's count after one. Still has a great amount of fight in them. Not going to let it end like this. Shawn Michaels doesn't back down from anyone. We know his desire to win is without equal, but Corey, can a competitor find a way to divert Michaels' focus? We know Michaels thinks he's cute and knows he's sexy, but can the heartbreak kid keep his emotions in check tonight? Can he leave his ego in the locker room? When you're overconfident, you can make mistakes. for Shawn Michaels here. Orton never saw that coming. A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. The showstopper, hard to see the energy in the house. Utilizing the top rope to inflict more punishment. Draped over the top rope. Big back body drop. Did you see the height on that? Catches a punch. Oh, by the back elbow. He can end it here. Believe it. He just won't go away. Ah, uh, Sean can't be stopped now. Well, Menem is the best friend of the heartbreak kid. He's going for it all. High risk. Michaels with a picture. Perfect elbow drop. And HBK is showing he's as dangerous now as he's ever been. I understand the sentiment, but now is not the time to bask in disbelief. Classic HBK being the showman that he is. Superstar is showing signs of backing down. 
we are seeing all their best on display, but it might just come down to who can take advantage of a pivotal mistake. That was one heck of a combo there. Dangerously close. worth with that one. Take a look. Here is your winner, Randy Orton. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. Hey, it could have been worse for HBK. <laughs> at least he didn't lose his smile. Don't you stop.